So, uh, yeah, we're doing a thing today. Today I gotta explain nested objects in JavaScript. Nested objects are objects inside of other objects. They allow you to represent more complex data structures. A child object is enclosed by a parent object. By using nested objects, we have the capability of creating some very complex data structures. For example, a person object could contain an address object, as well as a contact info object, or a shopping cart object. Each item in your shopping cart is an individual object, such as a keyboard, a mouse, or a monitor. Each of these child objects would have their own properties and methods. For example, a price, a name, specifications on the item, a shipping method. Nested objects are just objects inside of other objects. Let me give you a basic example. We'll create a person object. Const person equals an object. We need a set of curly braces. A person might have a full name property. I will set that to be SpongeBob in this example. SpongeBob SquarePants. An age of 30. Is SpongeBob a student? Is student. He's in boating school, so let's say that's true. Objects can also contain arrays. We'll create an array of hobbies. To declare an array, you need a set of straight brackets. What sorts of hobbies does SpongeBob have? He knows karate. He does jellyfishing. I need one more. Uh, let's say that he enjoys cooking. Now we're going to create a nested object. This person object will have an address object. So we need a set of curly braces. A few of the properties of the inner address object could be a street. SpongeBob has an address of 124 Conch Street. His city will be Bikini Bottom and a country. We won't do a full address, but I think this is good enough for this example. So SpongeBob lives in the ocean. Let's say that his country is International Waters. I'll just abbreviate International. Our person object has a nested address object inside of it. To access some of these properties of our person object, we would type the name of the object, use the property accessor, which is dot, then the name of the property, full name, SpongeBob SquarePants, let's print his age, 30, is SpongeBob a student? That is true. I'm going to display the array of hobbies, person.hobbies. This will give you an array. But if you need individual elements, you have to list an index number. So hobbies at index zero would be karate. One is jellyfishing. Index two is cooking. Let's console.log our person object dot the address object. This would return an entire object. If you need one of the properties within this object, that's within the person object, you would have to follow the inner object with the property accessor again, that dot. Person dot address dot street, which would give you 124 con street. The city, person dot address dot city, bikini bottom, person dot address dot country, international waters. So when accessing a property within a nested object, you have to use the property accessor twice, that dot. If you would like to loop through the properties of a nested object, you can write a for loop like this. For const property in person dot address console dot log take our person object, access the nested object, address, then use the index of operator, the straight brackets, give me the current property. And there we are. All right, let's make something a little more complicated. We're going to create a class that utilizes nested objects. So we will begin with class address. Our class will have a constructor. For an address, we need these three things. Feel free to add more if you would like. A street, city, and country. Then we'll assign these properties. This.street equals street. This.city 
equals city, this dot country equals country. Now we'll create a person class. Class person. Our person class will also have a constructor. We'll need a name, age, and an address. For the address, I'm going to use rest parameters. We can pass in different parts of an address and store it within an array. When we create a person object, we will assign this.name equals name, this.age equals age. Now for the address, we're going to construct an address object. This.address equals a new address. We're going to call the constructor of our address class and pass in our address. I'm going to utilize the spread operator to spread our address. We'll send our address object a street, city, and country. All right, let's construct some of these person objects. Const person1 equals a new person. This we'll call the constructor, but we have to pass in arguments to match the parameters. A name, we'll just do a first name to keep it short. An age, SpongeBob will be 30. We also need an address, a street, city, and country. One, two, four, Conch Street. City will be Bikini Bottom. His country will be International Waters. And just for readability, I'm going to put the address on a new line. Let's create person two. Person two will be Patrick, age 37. Patrick will live on 128 Conch Street. He'll have the same city and the same country. Then let's make person three. Person three will be Squidward. Age 45. Squidward will live on 126 Conch Street. All right, let's see if this all worked. Console.log. Let's start with person one. Person one.name, which is SpongeBob. Age 30. Let's get his address. Address, and this returns an object, which is good. That's what we wanted. We have a nested object an address object. For some of the properties within that address object, we have a street, city, and country. We use the property accessor again of dot. Give me the street, 124 Conch Street, the city, Bikini Bottom, and the country, International Waters. All right, let's confirm this with person three, just to be sure it all works. Person three, give me the name, Squidward, Age, 45. Address gives me an object. We'll use the property accessor again. Give me the street. 126 Conch Street. The city. Bikini Bottom. And the country. International Waters. This will also all work for person 2. If it worked with person 1 and 3. Alright everybody, so those are nested objects. They're objects inside of other objects. They allow you to represent more complex data structures. A child object is enclosed by a parent object. In this example, our address is the child object of the person object. We're creating a new object within our person object. And well, everybody, those are nested objects in JavaScript.